In a post-Covenant world, the question on most Alien fans' minds have been, what's going to be happening with the series? The Disney merger added a big complication to that, and now that we're in the midst of a pandemic, it's even more complicated, more uncertain. Disney had announced previously there are plans to do things with the franchise, but nothing official or concrete has been revealed. We can at least know that ideas are being thrown around, conversations are taking place, and ideas are being pitched. You may recall that Noah Hawley, creator of television shows such as Legion and Fargo, had at one point pitched an idea for an alien-based series sometime before the merger with the intent to bring it to the FX network. There are no specifics on that, and not until recently have we gotten a better idea of what that pitch actually was. Last week, Howley spoke to The Observer to discuss a Star Trek project he'd been working on and also revealed the general premise of his proposed Alien series. Here's what he had to say. Alien is, on some level, the complete opposite of Star Trek. It's sort of about humanity at its worst. There's this moment in the second film where Sigourney says, I don't know which species is worse, at least they don't screw each other over for a percentage. If you look at what Aliens tends to be, it's usually a trapped story, trapped in a ship, trapped in a prison, etc. And because the alien has this life cycle to it, where it goes from egg to chestburster to xenomorph, there becomes a certain routine to it. I thought it would be interesting if you could expand. If you're going to make something for television, you've got 10 hours, let's say. Even if you have a lot of action, like 2 hours, then you're still going to have 8 hours left, so what's the show about? That's what I tried to talk to them about. As I did with Legion, the exercise is, let's take the superhero stuff out of the show and see if it's still a great show. What's the show about? Let's take the alien out of the show. What's the show about? What are the themes? Who are the characters? And what is the human drama? Then we drop the aliens back in, and we go, this is great. Not only is there a great human drama, but there's aliens. Howley, of course, doesn't go into specifics about any proposed plot lines or settings, but this is the general idea of what we may have seen had they gone ahead with this pitch. Human drama, but with aliens added to the mix. I like the sentiment. I think there's an undeniable truth that without compelling human characters, the alien itself is useless. It's not effective. It's pop-up-and-go-boo target practice. But that's not just true of the alien, that's true of any movie monster. Certainly true of, say, zombies, and I don't know about you, but as someone who watched The Walking Dead at one time with great enthusiasm, their human drama became less and less interesting. The formula became more and more apparent, and progressively throughout the series you could easily recognize what was, for lack of a better way to put it, a filler episode. That same risk would be run with Howley's concept for an Alien series, I think. He said himself a lot of the life cycle elements became routine, and that's also true. Ridley Scott admits the same thing. But would the true solution be to use the alien sparingly and focus on the humans? That I'm not too sure of. Yes, absolutely, we need the human element that is integral, but the alien also needs a spotlight. The alien is a fascinating creature. It's unpredictable in so many ways. And I think there is opportunity for the creative minds behind a new alien project to unveil even further surprises about it. I don't think it should be pushed aside and used as a tool to heighten the human drama, which is sort of the impression I get from this pitch. Obviously, it's easy for me to sit here as an alien fan and express a vague notion of what I'd like to see, and it's easier still to pass judgment on an equally vague concept. But it is a difficult balancing act, and regardless of what we eventually get, if anything at all, there's no way to satisfy all Alien fans, which is true of any long-running franchise with a fan base. But maybe especially so with the Alien brand. There's a lot to consider about tone. Is it more horror? Is it more action? How much of the Xenomorph do you show, and what exactly do you do with it? That's certainly something for the creative minds behind whatever the next project will be to consider. But I'd like to know what you think. Do Howley's comments about his proposed series strike your interest? Would you like to see something more human and character-based? And if so, what kind of characters do you think would work within the Alien universe? Please comment below and share your thoughts. As always, I'd like to thank you very much for watching today. Be sure to subscribe for more videos on the world of Alien. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.